The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Esther. The king said to Queen Esther, In the citadel of Susa, the Jews have killed 500 men, and also the 10 sons of Haman. What must they have done in the other provinces of the realm? Tell me your request. I grant it to you. Tell me what else you would like. It is yours for the asking. Whereupon the king having given the order, the edict was promulgated in Susa, and the ten sons of Haman were hanged. Thus the Jews of Susa reassembled on the fourteenth day of the month of Adar and killed three hundred men in the city. But they took no plunder. The other Jews, who lived in the king's provinces, also assembled to defend their lives and rid themselves of their enemies. They slaughtered 75,000 of their opponents, but they took no plunder. Once having begun, the Jews continued observing these practices, Mordecai having written them an account of how Haman son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, the persecutor of all the Jews, had plotted their destruction and had cast the pure, that is, the lot, for their overthrow and ruin. But how, when he went back to the king to ask him to order the hanging of Mordecai, the wicked scheme which he had devised against the Jews recoiled on his own head, and both he and his sons were hanged on the gallows. And our response is taken from Psalm 138. I thank you, Yahweh, with all my heart, for you have listened to the cry I uttered. In the presence of angels I sing to you. I bow down before your holy temple. I praise your name for your faithful love and your constancy. Your promises surpass even your fame. You heard me on the day when I called, and you gave new strength to my heart. Though I live surrounded by trouble, you give me life to my enemy's fury. You stretch out your right hand and save me. Yahweh will do all things for me. Yahweh, your faithful love endures forever. Do not abandon what you have made. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, Ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Everyone who asks receives. Everyone who searches finds. Everyone who knocks will have the door opened. Is there anyone among you who would hand his son a stone when he asked for bread? Or would hand him a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then, evil as you are, know how to give your children what is good, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So always treat others as you would like them to treat you. That is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord.